Hi and welcome to another section of Jeff the Master Barber. On this edition, I'm going to show you how I do a fro hack. I don't know what, what other a burst a burst fade. I have different. Everybody have different names. Uh, whether it be con different countries, different states, uh, depending on where you see in this. But uh, if you're from a different country or a different state, uh, when you finish the when you see finish re seeing the the haircut all done let me know what they call it and where whatever you leave or uh, whatever you from let me know in the in the comments what they call it right now I'm using the bolding I was using the bolding now I'm using the magic clip um, with the level open uh, so the first step I did it with the bolding you could do it with a, with a detailer or a T outliner but I like to use the, the bolding, it's a lot quicker, it clean a lot quicker, a lot faster, and I don't have to sacrifice my trimmers. That's why I used the, the first machine, uh, Jeff, but it looks like it was the, the cordless senior. Yes, it is the cordless senior, but the blade, I switched the blade. I took the blade from the, that it came from factory and I put the bolding. The bolding is just basically like the blade, like the T aligner and detailer. So, but it's a lot wider, and it's for a bigger, bigger uh, a motor. Right now, we're using the uh, 116 level open, making you know right away cleaning the level that the half did. We we're gonna take that right away. So see, automatically we're just taking uh, right after the second level. We're just gonna start like taking the the lines. So as you can tell, now I close the level, and I'm uh, now I switch the guard, and I pull guard number one, level open. So it's gonna take the line that the uh, 116 and a half did. Um, what you call it, the 116, the guard that it was before, uh, and what you call this one and one eighth, because in the back it says one uh, one eighth. So one one eighth, uh, or number one, whatever whatever you call it. Um, but yeah. Is level semi open now I close it and I go down a little bit and I'm gonna pass it in that area now I'm gonna go to the next level which is two and a half and we're gonna take that bulkiness right right there notice my stroke is a lot um, lo longer uh, or, you know a lot bigger the stroke um, the bigger the the guard the little bigger the stroke not necessarily have to be like really exaggerated and big but you know you can see the motion uh, at this point I'm staying right there right in that in that section and um, I'm closing the level little by little now I switch the guard now I'm in guard one with the level open and I'm gonna close it little by little and I'm now I'm working my way down and that's what I'm doing and then going from left to right right to left and you know always pass the brush and then you know we, little by little we're taking those uh spots that look like you know sometimes they look like a little tiny dot um it depends how you see it you know but i see it right here now um i took the le uh the guard now i'm level uh, less than a little bit than a half not a not a half but less than a little bit the half now i'm opening a little bit and I pass it in that area where you know used to be a line. Now it's just a couple of spot there, so I'm passing it there. I use the corner sometimes. The corners they just grab specifically that little spot, the, the spots that you see those spot right there. You see that? And um, and I brush it. Then I close the level. I close it. I mean, uh, semi open right now. It's it's not half, but it's not auto. Um, uh, no, no zero either. It's in between. Uh, that's one of the technique in order to achieve uh, a more fading uh, Don't completely open it or don't completely close it uh, In between you could close you could close it before you close it completely uh, You could close a little by little like You know two levels and same thing uh, Backwards, you know in order to open in half You could play with the level a little bit, you know a little bit by little and then the the corners how I'm using notice that sometimes I use the corner the corner helped me to take you know those little spot right there you know right there see um, and uh, when I'm gonna use uh, to, to take the line I use the whole blade but when I go to get something 
like right now those little spot or anything like that I use the corner you know what I mean sometimes it doesn't grab it right away because I have it maybe completely open in this case I have a half so I, I'm grabbing it little by little but you see uh, now the the fading is coming now we're using the electric shaver the series 9 remember um, you could use whatever shaver you have if it's the wall or if it's the Andy whatever you have whatever you have at the moment or whatever you could get you know whatever if but uh, to me like I said I keep investing on my craft and um, yeah these are you know they're a little pricey but they're worth it you know, I mean you pay for what you get uh, right now we, we're gonna use the techniques this is overcome and we're gonna take that part right there and we're gonna use the big teeth and um, scissors overcome uh, you can use whatever scissors you have I uh, use the these are the three uh, yeah the three inch uh, usually it's for stylus but I use it over comb because I just grab you know the little corners whatever spot right there you see what I'm saying I, I don't I don't sacrifice as much as using the, the the guards with the machine here I just grab little spots here and there and um, I have more control on what I want to take and, and that's that's what I'm doing right now as you could tell uh, another another technique if you don't have the 116 or the 3 or the 316 which is the one and a half you could use the, this technique the combs uh, as a replacement for that I'm gonna start my lineup right in the middle and then I'm gonna work my way to the side uh, some of the clients have the shape of the forehead it's a little weird so you gotta that's why you always start in the middle and uh, you don't have to press the, the trimmer you just you know especially this detailer they, they're pretty because of the rotary engine they're pretty pretty sharp and they, and they get a real nice use the corner just to shape and, and do that curvy right there you're gonna do the curve right there and eventually uh, and then I use the corner of the detailer to take that spot right there you see and um, now we're gonna do the, the V in the back the one side and we're gonna get a detail and they get those baby hair right there that we see with the detail you know or the the bolden didn't touch now I notice in the back right there there's some something that needs to be more blend in so that's what I, I'm gonna use the one and a half right now guard number one or the one eighth uh, level open right there and I'm gonna pass it right there now no guards and that's half and notice how that right there needs to be blended and then I put the wine again uh, level open and using the corner strictly just the corner and grabbing that section right there then now I'm gonna grab number two and I'm gonna use the first two three teeth of the corner of the blade of the clipper and we're just gonna tackle that right there that zone where it's you know a little bit too dark and I notice right here it's still dark right there that section you see what I'm saying and then I brush it down, then I lift it up a little bit more, move it to the side, and now I see the blending coming in real nice. Uh, now I get it more, a little bit more sharper, the lines of the V in the back, all right, with the detailer, GTX. Now I get that corner a little bit more tighter, and right there, all right, and then the bottom right there, uh, and then later on we pass the blade, but as of right now, now we're working in the other side. We brush it first, then we use, like I said, this is the bolt, the blade is the bolting. The machine is the senior cordless senior. Uh, the reason why I don't use the the, the senior, um, the senior, the factory one to, uh, with, you know, with the regular blade is because <clears throat> for the last six months since I have it, I noticed that it make, it's, it, it gets really noisy. Uh, it gets hot really quick and um, you have to be consistently putting oil or it doesn't cut the same it's not like the magic clip just with cool care it, it will just do fine through the whole I mean even two years that I have it I mean I use don't get me wrong I put oil like once a week but not like like senior it has to be putting oil constantly and if you're a barber you understand what I'm saying it gets all 
uh, oil and hair don't mix so well and it makes it makes the machine runs a lot funkier um, right now I'm using the magic clip my favorite clipper uh, level open and I was the half now I'm using uh, the 116 level open and I'm taking the line that right away the 160 the the one um, that the half did right so right away we, we after the second level which is the half we right away we're gonna start blending it and taking those those line uh, to take the next line we're gonna use the the one and a half and you're gonna see and the motion it's like a C motion uh, uh, not completely like a C motion but kind of like if you you were curving it that's what it's doing now we're gonna go to the next level which is the two and a half see what I'm saying and uh, we're gonna pass it in that section right there that you guys are seeing I'm, I'm actually holding his head because the little kid always move put the head down or up or, and I want to make sure that I'm doing the you know I don't mess it up I'm, I don't mess up the haircut so as you could tell, I'm using the guard number two at this point, brushing it, make sure that he's comfortable. That's another thing, make sure you brush it so you can see uh, the stuff that you cut already, it's not, it, don't, it doesn't stick to the skull or the, or the skin. And, you know, to maintain the client comfortable too, you know, there's no, so everything is clean, that area is clean. We're still working with uh, guard number two level semi open now let's switch to the 116 level semi close and we're gonna pass it in that area notice i don't go if i go higher i open the level in this case i did open the level now i close it back again because i'm measuring i'm testing okay should i should, it's not grabbing it so that means that i gotta close a little bit um and then when i when i go up just to be safe i open the level even if he if it doesn't grab it um but just to be safe, if you want to be safe, then sorry. So right now it's still level close, and I'm passing in that area, in between the the line. Now we took the the guards, no guards, so it's less than half, but not completely close. And we're gonna stick to the line, and you know we're gonna go little by little, we're working our way from back, from front to back, and then we go before we even go all the way back, we can continue passing in that area. Uh, there's times that I use the, the corner first uh, It's all preference. It's all how you feel As right now you can see that I'm passing still is the uh, Now I open the level, you know, the level is, is a little bit open now. I yeah Semi close a little bit and pass it again in that area and then close it com uh, Semi completely and then open it one more time and passing it right there and then notice how I uh, I kind of move the head the way that it's gonna be comfortable for me uh, right now the level is semi semi close but not completely close and then the blade I use the whole blade straight right there now I use the corner just so that way I don't go too in with the blade and sacrifice the whole um, fade and then right here I'm using the whole blade right here in the back in that section but then now here I'm using the corner level still semi open but not completely half and then i'm used still using the corners uh then i close it just a little bit i do it right with my hand right hand uh that's how comfortable and lightweight this clipper is notice how i hold the ear so it doesn't bother him when i pass the the, the machine and notice how i'm still passing the corners now i uh, jump to the 1a uh yeah, the 1A level semi open and using the corners. Now remember, you know, it's a lot of step, it's a it's a process. People think that it's just boom, you know, you pass it in one time and that's it. It's not. If you if you don't put up put in the work, you're not gonna see the, the results. It's like everything in life. In order to get muscle, you, you gotta lift weight and it's not gonna happen one day. It take, it's it's you know, you gotta drink eat a lot of proteins. You got to work that muscle, you got to push the muscle, you got to, you know, every day. If you don't do that, if you don't do that, it's not going to happen. Right now, I'm using the Xenior, I mean the, the Broom Series 9. This is the only one that series that I, that I try, so I cannot tell what's the difference between the other series. 
Uh, this is the other side that I'm doing. Um, his forehead, it's like I said, it's a little, you know, if you do it too, too, uh, um, um, when the hair grows, the the box out will look, it will look really weird. So definitely you have to, um, you know, start from the middle, work, work your way to the side, but don't push it too much back. Like that right there, that's perfect right there. And um, by leaving that area right there and doing that right there, what we're doing, the, the, the arch or whatever you want to call it, the curvy part, um, you know, first getting the L real nice and, you know, detail, and then using the corners of the detailer to just get those little spots right there. You see how I took them? Now I'm going to use the, the technique, scissors over comb, just like I did in the other side. The same thing that we did in the other side, we're going to do it in this side also. And um, like I said, this, this um, if you don't have the 316 using the big teeth of the of the comb, it act like a 316. And you could use the technique scissors over comb or clipper over comb, and you will have that level. Or if you don't have the uh, 116, then you use the small teeth of the combs, and that will get you know that will be the blend in of the 116. Um, so yeah, but right now, like I say, I, I do this technique because I, I have um, more control on what I really want to get. Um, even if it if it's a little, if it takes few seconds longer, but it's more safer. I, uh, right here, I'm using the Andy sl Slimline. Sometimes he had the the blade more sharper. Now I'll go to do the other side of the of the V, and um. Then I comb the hair down everywhere, and then I, I lift it up, and I see that I still gotta get a little more more sharper. And then the other side, I gotta look. I'm like, okay, I gotta get it more more defined here, and then take that little right there. And I'm like, okay, let me get a little more straight that corner right there. Eventually, and now uh, I'm using the one and level open to get that little part right there, and um. His father told me not to cut the top because his hair it was short when he brought him from Puerto Rico. This little kid just came from Puerto Rico. So, you know, I'm actually doing for the first time his hair. And, um, you know, you could tell uh, that it was pretty short, that he's trying to let it grow. Right now we're using Pump It Up. What I like about Pump It Up, if you use the blow dryer, uh, and like within 20 seconds, you guys, you're gonna see. Notice when I pass the comb, see, it's getting, it's getting the hair is getting like stuck, and and, and what it does, it molds, it, it frees the hair in place, so that way I don't have to um, what's my call it? I don't have to. It won't struggle to to if it goes down, or if his hair likes to go back to his place down or whatever. It will stay completely up it will freeze it right in that position that i want it uh but yeah his father said no nah, don't cut the top leave the top longer i want to leave it longer so i was like all right no problem i'm using uh notice how the distance from the uh when and when i'm moving the comb i keep a distance i don't put it too close to the scope and i keep it moving around and i don't put it right uh hitting the air hitting the 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 skull more is more like barely touching the hair because you know that the blow the blow dryer is really hot so you don't want to burn the skull uh the kid see he's keep moving the head he's laughing because he knows that he keep moving the head um and i tell him no leave it leave it straight um i put elegance gel and when you put the elegance gel now that the hair is in place how i want it and more how i want it when putting on elegance gel, it gives like a nice little curl and tester to it. And I, and with the fingers, I work it out. I'll get those curls um, and then the smooth on the sides, um, the hair to fall in place, the back to get lift up. Uh, and then right there, I gotta make sure that it's nice and tight uh, and get it forward. And then in the middle, getting more curls in the front. Make sure the hairs are sticking up real nice. And then move it right to the middle. I'm, at this point right here, I'm using the shaving gel. I'm using the shaving gel. Um, 
and when I use this shaving gel is the Bump Pro and, and I'm using the Black Widow uh, razor holder and the Black Widow uh, blade and, and you know you could tell the the sharpness and you see how comfortable the uh, Black Widow razor fits in my hand um, definitely the cream uh, when it dries it, and you pass a brand new blade it's gonna throw like a, a dusty like a white dust but it's actually and some people have dry skin so it could be many things it could be the pump it up the glue that I put on could be as also to the desk can or it could be the also the the you know the shaming gel but either way uh, those uh, line with the with the glue or whatever uh, that he dried up the chemical or whatever it is dry skin once I'm I, I use that to my advantage what I use it is just a defense line so see I scrape it and then I scrape it with my comb uh, the too much axis of it I, I scrape it up with the, my comb watch you know boom boom and then uh, but I grab every angle if I see that the hair doesn't grab it real good with the blade going and torture it I go against it and, and it makes it more tighter then I go get it more sharper again you know right up to there I don't push the the, the blade back and I get the arch right there I use the corner then I get the, the eyebrows the father told me to do the eyebrows so that's that's what I do um, I'm using the corners of the blade to do the curvy part to get those hair right there, the roots, as you can tell. And I'm um, passing it in that section, still passing it. The more you pass it, the more details you, you could get out of it. You gotta work on it, you gotta, you gotta keep working on it. Um, <clears throat> the eyebrows, notice how with my left hand I have the comb to scrape everything. You see, I just scrape some uh, glue or shaving glue gel glue um yeah what I like about this shaving cream that I put is medicated and and once it dried up it still protect the skin so no matter how how, uh, how many times I pass the blade in the same spot it will not get irritated and if you could tell see you see the the line the white light the wine lines is actually like I said it could be either the shaving gel dried or the pump it up that it was uh, when I put the pump it up and dry it up or dry scalp, uh, the dry skin uh, in this case this little kid doesn't have dry skin so I know for a fact that it's the dry shaving gel and then he's moving again so you gotta be careful you gotta make sure you talk to the to the to the client let them know you can't move leave it right there until I tell you to move it uh, notice how I stretch the skin with my left hand and always holding the comb to scrape whatever I, whatever I just shaved and uh, as you could tell I'm still you know going every angle you know right there scraping it right there those baby hair you 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 know depending from the angle that you see in it sometimes you can see it sometimes you don't you don't want to make them too uh, too thin the eyebrows but in this case, this is how he has them from Puerto Rico. I'm trying to leave it as much uh, natural possible. And, but, you know, I'm trying to get it every angle, trying to get it marked, really marked, really, really good, getting it, you know, detailed. And um, I'm grabbing every hair. And back now, I'm going to work in the V. Watch, I put the head down and he bring it, bring the head up. I put the head down, right? watch this he put the head up. and I tell him no no leave it down and little by little he's lifting the hair the head again and I'm trying to get that corner and that little piece right there and he's putting the head more up and you know you gotta deal with clients uh, little kids and like this or client C like leave it there man don't lift it up I'm trying to get more details to the back but because he's watching TV or whatever it is the case, he keep moving it. Right here, I have him sit him down and get him the final details and touch. And um, I'm going behind the ear right there in front of the ear. So yeah, this is the haircut before the haircut. This is how he looks right, be right before, um, before the haircut. Yeah. 
and then you know the difference you're gonna see this is how he looked when he came from Puerto Rico so I'm gonna show you how uh, after the after the haircut after the boom this is uh, all the haircut all done look at the difference you know what I mean so yeah you know don't never judge the the haircut uh, when you when this when someone is doing it right away wait until the end and remember at the end of the day it's that person that barber doing it if it ain't you 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 know you may do it differently or whatever but that's you everybody got their own ways to do little things so i hope this work out for anybody god bless and see you later